Thank you for joining the Will to My Library for another video. In this video, we'll be talking about going on walks. Walks are a very fun way to promote exercise and bonding. After dinner, morning, evening, all of these are prime times to head out and find fun and exciting ways to interact with each other and with nature. Walking with your child is a great way to bring education and fun on the go. The whole family can join in and create lasting memories. Taking family pets for walks is a great way to make walks fun and give your child responsibility by helping to locate and put on collars, harnesses, and leashes. Allow your child to hold the leash on walks. While you hold the real end, they can grasp the middle of the leash and walk their pets themselves. Walks are also a great opportunity to explore nature. You can ask what kind of plants can you find, birds, insects, animals. If you don't know what species you're looking at, take a notebook with you and write down the descriptions you see. Then go home and research it. Draw the life that you see around you. Every neighborhood has interesting and unique life in and around it, and it's fun to try to find the life in yours. Walks are also fantastic to create scavenger hunts and I spy games. Do you see that color? Do you see those numbers, the letter shapes in nature, like the branches that make that S? Or do you see the words and letters on those street signs over there? You can say things like, I spy a green bush with pink flowers. I spy four yellow mailboxes. After our walks, it's nice to talk about it. What did we see? What do you hope to see next time? Can we make any stories from anything we saw? Where do you think that rabbit is going? I wonder if that field mouse is running late for tea with Mr. Toad. There are no limits to imagination, and walks are a fantastic way to encourage it along. Walks also create great opportunities for conversation. Walking and talking go hand in hand. Let's map our neighborhood, too. Walk around and draw a map of your street and neighborhood. Do some houses have dogs, trees in their yard? How many plants and bushes and houses can you count on your street? How many steps in a certain direction until you reach a certain point? Do you have any blue houses on your street? If not, what color are they? Creating a map of your street and neighborhood will help create awareness for your child about where they live, as well as introduce them to numbers, colors, adding, and subtracting. It's never too early to teach safety, and walks are a great opportunity to teach traffic safety. Make sure your children understand all of the signs on the screen, such as traffic signs like no entry, no pedestrian crossing, and stop signs. Make sure they know what crosswalks look like and how to use them. When they cross the street, look both ways. Make sure the road is clear before crossing, and if you can, always hold a hand when crossing the road. Make sure they know sidewalk safety. Walk, don't run near roads. Stay on the sidewalk and out of gutters and ditches. Pedestrian symbols such as don't walk and walk, the little hands and the little walking men, and traffic lights. Red means stop, yellow means slow, green means go. Thank you for joining us for this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you'd like more videos like this, go ahead and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also give us a call, visit our website, send us an email, or come visit us at the library. Have a wonderful day.